I get it. Uh-huh. What else? Yes. Talk to me. Look at this geometry. Uh-huh. That margin, is indeed margin a Margin of error man. 10 frames. So those are notes. They are formulas. And they're visual representations of what to do. I'm not going to lie, Flambo. <laughs> those are some of the coolest smash notes I've seen in a minute. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll keep it a buck. I don't see smash notes very often. But uh, as far as the ones I have seen, those definitely look uh, a bit more well thought out. You know, and there's a degree of... Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess I'll say artistry that then, comes with those. I guess with the wolf coming out here, Eric, though, uh, potentially, I will say, potentially the information we had on lock was, was wrong from the good old uh, PG stats, Smash okay. data, whatever site you want to use, because, well, this is this is not the, the character we thought we were getting here. This is a wolf coming out, and uh, we were talking about honest work, work, work versus Steve before. We got it once again. Okay. Chop, chop. You already know what time it is. It's time to clock. Yeah, you got to SPI those because otherwise you're going to be taking boatloads of damage here. Valkenheimer starting off unscathed and tacking on more and more damage. The TNT leads to great damage here, but it does give an opportunity for Eric to regain center stage, which I think may be more valuable. Yeah, but those walls might mean that center stage here Eric, against Steve is never the same as it is on other matchups. Oops, that TNT platform arm pressure that or that sorry uh pressure plate pressure there is so strong because it forces the jump from ledge edge or the roll in and steve is able to cover both of those on wow the and i love that block setup on the wall right there you leave that little empty space in the middle and ride right through with the minecart and at this point if you're blockenheimer you're just looking for that final blow you've gotten so much damage racked up on the eric eric's just trying to find an opening now you want to keep making sure you mine though because now you've got your stone online but with only two iron, two stone, and a dirt, right? That's not a whole lot of resources, especially when your diamond is on you. But you need to start building those up because that stock is not going to last forever. Now with that diamond in the black pocket, you can play a little recklessly, right? You've got the resources going, but somehow this wolf just won't die. Yeah, and at this point, you know, Lockenheimer can get to the point where they want to fish for a grab even. It'll probably be more than enough here. But instead of going to roll out, minecart it up, I'm in. Never a bad option to mine card. I think we kind of drilled that one into the and ground quite a bit here. And look at the conversion. What a little mix up there too, right? Ooh. You don't see Steve's double jump back over their own wall to cross you up like that. Kind of broke Eric's ankles a little bit and found almost 100% off the interaction. Yeah, which is insane, right? Mm -hmm. Like, talk about a punish game. Oh, kidnap. Yeah, How are you going to land? Man, they, they really just lock you in chains and ship you off to go do some labor with that side special. Oh, the fire not going to lock you down at ledge off that down tilt, but the pressure is the back air going to close it out, though. And Wolf's strong option going to give him at least a chance. The gold instead of the diamond is going to be huge, right? Presenting that, preventing that from, that diamond from coming online and resetting the timer with a stock is Eric's key to victory here. Oh. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Trying to cook, tries to go for a reflector follow-up there. I respect it, you know, trying to make the best with the odd situation. But we getting chopped up, that gold is glistening. Uh, the other benefit of that reflector too, right, is if they down smash, if they anvil, well, if they minecart, it does send it right back to where it came from. We haven't seen it come out yet, but something to watch for in this set. It's just terrifying now because one of the big things you have as, as Wolf in this matchup is the You've got these destroyed points because you're already getting out frame data. And gold just makes that even more apparent. Yeah, you can see the difference in the swing speed, right? I guess like, oh, speaking of a uh, reflector, hoping that they, you know, wishing that they did it right there. But that's going to be the game right there. Blockenheimer, you know, locking in the goggles, you know, taking a, taking a step out of Gimmer's book, you know, really uh, locking in the scientist aspect here I, as we, uh, oh. I was gonna say I don't know Ooh, if they the were. TI-84 is back. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get some math on here, my friend. Well, yeah, and, they learned. Yeah, and yeah, two TI-84s. How many they got over there? Uh, they better write boobs and then show it at us upside down. It's not even back to the lab, my friend. And and but this is a step beyond Gimmer because not only do you have hair, you are not just back in the lab. You are just constantly. You bring the lab with you. No, I feel you. Not this is what they got on the on the walls in ancient Egypt. You know, I didn't think we'd have them recovered here today, but these hieroglyphics. Hey, the, the juice had been there all along. Dating down to the BCs before Christ. Look at that. Wow. Full bloom. You learn new stuff every day. Uh, and she is absolutely cooking here now. And the alternate skin, right? Getting that orange inch 
kind of those warm colors, those pastel tones to match the aesthetic here of Full Bloom and Alex's hair. Maybe uh, Eric, though, just trying to find a little bit of camouflage as that X Factor. Yes. Now hold on here. We got anti air. How much damage are we about to eat for it? Oh, we. We racking up. All right, quick 50. Ain't yeah. nothing to laugh at. That's speed building, my friend. Plus the NILs just allow you to get up there so fast and rack on that extra oh. percent. Now just the pick loops, right, to push you to the corner, allow you to get the time to get stone online. Even though you're eating damage here, you're not too upset by this because you still have full resources. Oh, gee. All right. Rolls right into the loving embrace of Eric on that one. And this time just goes through a neutral getup. I expect it a lot harder to punish in that regard. Ooh, look at all of that pressure. The wall right there, the shield damage, like you're getting hit. Yeah, that being said, you're not upset about getting hit there if you're Eric because that wall, like, allowing you to just hold on for dear life. I, it's one of those times that we see Steve's do it to their advantage, but a player playing heads up in the matchup able to use it to their own benefit as well. And now with the only two iron in the tank, this is a hugely beneficial situation for Eric, though, because you only have to avoid one minecart, one anvil, before you can kind of just go full throttle here and able to find the up smash, doesn't even need it. And now no diamond, no gold in the tank. Blockenheimer has to work as hard as they have this entire tournament now to find this stuff. Okay, and we actually leaning into the gun a little bit here as well, racking on that little bit of extra damage hitting for like somewhere between like six to eight percent, depending on Stalus there. So definitely get that extra juice in when you can. But Anvil out of disadvantage is going to be the name of the game here as Blockenheimer is swinging back. I like the pressure there on that crafting table saying, hey, if you don't make your way back to stage fast, I'm going to break this. I'm going to tax those very limited resources even further. And now Block and Imer having to use that beautiful little slight shift on the Elytra to f extend the distance, find a way back to stage, and even then only doing it barely. No resources in the tank means that you can just pressure as Eric, though, oh, and smother them down. Yeah, you can see if you're Blockenheimer here, you're in a tough spot. You don't have a whole lot of resources. You have no iron, so you can't minecart. There we go. We get one, and we have a diamond as well. So this could be the swing, but not before an up smash catches the jump. And suddenly, Eric, though, might be able to steal this game. We'll yeah. see. Diamond's online. I was going to say Flambo. Diamond is <laughs> here. <laughs> and just like that, right? One neutral interaction into the stock. But even with Diamond, that's one iron, two stone. You cannot build a wall, right? I, and then have an anvil to back you up. Up, Yeah, you have gold, but you got to get the yeah, iron to make yeah. it use. However, those jabs, Wolf of Fast Faller, right? That's a lot of free damage. Yeah, you just rack it up. You can see, runs away, uses the gun. Says, let me get my 7%. Run away, maybe gun again. Another 7%. You need to watch it. Because at this point, it's just like these little bits of damage are adding up. And then Eric can start fishing for these up smashes again, or these down smashes even if he wants to read a roll. There it is. Ha! And looking for a, find, a, a way to find this stock, right? Because you know that Blockenheimer in turn is going to be looking for that F smash or a back here at ledge. The Wolf Flash is going to find its way. Angle low to just try and find a little bit extra space to work with. Now an F smash, right? Swinging for the fences. Eric has one chance here potentially to find this stock. Yeah, while there's no resources available as well, this is where you need to capitalize. And you can see. Blockenheimer backing up, managed to get one iron, uses it on that anvil, needs to find a moment to mine, and this back air might seal the deal, and it does. And that was expertly played by Eric, though, because that was a clear situation of Steve doesn't have a whole lot of resources here. I have to do something now. If I ever give up that opportunity, I may never find another chance. And on top of that, too, you know, talking about resources, Eric, knowing the matchup well enough to know, that even though Wolf is a fast faller, right? Those jab strings are are true on Wolf. You can't SDI out of them at low percent. It's just on Wolf and Fox. However, you can Flambo if it's a diamond at low percent mm. because diamond has a higher SDI modifier. They are more SDIable because they put you in longer hit stuns than the other options. So we actually saw that last dot jab string fight. Eric actually got out of it. it because of the diamond. And it's the one time that Steve's best blue snowball option is, in fact, a downside. Three, yeah, Steve, uh, two, one, Steve got some stuff. <laughs> Steve got some stuff, just right? Some, just a little as a treat. You gotta kinda, you gotta read that textbook, you know what I mean? It's like when you pull up to class and, oh, uh, uh, oh, 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 
And Blockenheimer there that time, dropping it at ledge, not looking for that pick loop because just didn't feel like they were going to read the DI mix, right? Recognizing and the respect that, hey, Eric does know this matchup and is playing it well. Oh, nice parry. Coming out here from Blockenheimer, forcing Eric to the corner. TNT on the plat, and that's a wrap. Yeah, the up tilt being able to hit the pressure plate from below and activate it is such an incredibly strong option in this game because also if they just jump the platform, right, they still get blown up. Yes, yes, yes. It's like, where do I go? It can be really hard to figure out what the correct defensive option is to select there. I love the air dodge out of that one, though. Made it a little bit cheekier to figure out how to respond. Going for the jab one out of that into the reset was just like an absolutely insane play from Blockenheimer 2. Just not able to find it though, and now having to do the minecart in the position we see all Steve's able to do. Ooh, Wolf not having the position to, can't, to cover that one, but is able to use some platform movement plus a back here, right? Lane you, ooh, as we keep mentioning, into this corner. And then once Wolf has you there, he's got ledge trap app options up the wazoo. Okay, and now we're sitting in a situation here where things are looking close yet again. Though, Blockenheimer does have Eric in the corner, though. And that might be a difference of like how much mining we're able to accomplish here. But even with that, no iron on Blockenheimer. Yeah, you had to use that iron to build some of those walls, which in turn then disrupted right that, that advantage state because of how much longer they lasted. But it does mean as well that, as you mentioned, there aren't those tools to throw out the anvil, throw out the minecart. But finding, able to find this pressure and now reset, you have to force, force the delay on the recovery, get so much back in the tank, and now a diamond. That was the best case drop for Blockenheimer. Okay, I love the little swoop there, man, just to go right underneath, but things are still looking tough. Eric, though, is doing a good job of kind of finding the moments. I love that use of the reflective there in case an anvil was imminent, but not going to be the case. I'm rec I like the recognizing that, hey, there is wood on this stage, right? Unlike PS2, it's not just iron and stone, so we can break through these blocks a whole lot faster. Or Plus the smaller stage, right? You don't have as many opportunities to mine. You are going to be operating on lower resources. And so Blockenheimer has to f play a little bit more aggressive to hit you off to create these spaces to mine. Oh, good block. And that's... Okay, it is going to be a KO off the top. Yeah. I could not tell for a moment. I was like, is that going to be enough? Should you have done a different punish? Uh, he DI'd up and in there, it looked like, and just unfortunately just pulling it a little too far up to miss the corner to lose that stock. Here we go. Eat him back. It's clawed. But at this point, if you're Eric, though, you're not falling too far behind. That backer is going to go ahead and equalize things. And now you're in a good spot. Make sure to get rid of that crafting table. And immediately upon respawning, we see another one get set up. But that's fine. That was on the platform. It means it's a little bit weirder to get to. I like I like just the patience here. Right, that F tilt in the shield, the spacing of it means that it's very hard for Steve to find any sort of true punish here. But we really interestingly seen Blockenheimer not throw out these mine cards off that bottom block getting broken. And that's when the difference maker also I'm sorry, why didn't that TNT pressure plate go off? Yeah, and it's a little bit weird. I mean we're just gonna go ahead and let it rock, I guess. It's gonna be a great break for Eric though. But Eric, I mean 121 gets caught by the back air and it is juicy enough. Ooh, and a little bit, I can't even say a little bit, a lot of bit of a pop-off from Skibbity Blockenheimer. We got we gotta look at the notes one more time. Just as I calculated, all according Chance to the Chance of a win number of my cards. Look at that. Perfect per you see the slope on that graph? That the, the, that is a direct correlation. The stocks are going up, baby. Yep. Yes, sir, she has absolutely crushed it. Also, I'm really excited, Flambo, because we finally figured out what those goggles were for. It's to protect her eyes when she pops off. <sighs> because I don't know if you saw it, but when she popped off that pen, those nodes went up and hit her right in the face, and those <laughs> and those goggles blocked it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see Let's see if we can see it. Hold on. Oh, oh the side. That was, we just got a mini replay of a turn flip. Page turn, rather. But once again, this pressure from Eric under the stage was so smart. Our, and most Here teams are going to minecart Woo! there. Yep, she goes up, up, and okay, it didn't miss her face. It looked from the other side like it, like that her badge hit her in the face there. Er, but I understand why they're there, because honestly, that badge might, and that thing's sharp enough, my friend. It might poke your eye out. No, skip it here. Blockenheimer was here to cook, just as I calculated. You know, there's, a, there's this... Old joke oh. that goes, do you know why helium, curium, and barium are the three medical elements? No. Nope. Because if you can't helium and you can't curium, you barium! Ha <laughs> ha!
for anyone that has ever played League of Legends, that's okay. Heimerdinger's joke. Interesting. Yeah. My, uh, it's, uh, I was going to say, my, my stylus isn't working, so... Uh, you want to use this one? Press the power button. I, I, I have go. learned there's a power button, chat. Look at that. I've that's learned crazy. there's a power button. You have to turn it on. Who would have Who would have thought? <laughs> I have hit the power button. The power button. Strong. The power button has not made it work. I was trying. Yeah, I was trying to write. She I, I was trying to write strong calculations. Okay, or that. strong stocks, but it did not work out. Okay. Just like that. That's all it takes. That's, That's all, all it takes. takes. And sometimes, takes. sometimes our technical difficulties are large. Sometimes they're on the smallest scale. You know. Pens. They're oh. cool. <laughs> I, I was gonna say we really over-engineered the pen. Like we joke about the pen being an over-engineered pencil. Why did we have to over-engineer the pen? 